back here on the farm. He's having his breakfast. Little Angus. We got in pretty late last night. I wasn't able to get any good footage. It was pretty dark, but did get him feeding, feeding on some pellets, and he's loving the milk. As you see, he doesn't need to suck anymore. He knows how to get it. He likes his little straw, little straw corner. Every time I come, he he's laying right in it. So I'm stir it up for him a little. And it's interesting. He uh, definitely knows not to pee or poop in it, so that's good. <laughs> the other ones uh, I got a while ago, but never never cared about that. But uh, let me. Fix his bucket real quick and I'll be back. Oh, he's definitely loving it. What you doing, buddy? Aww. Yep, so he's pretty big. Today's his 20th day alive. I'd say he probably weighs... At least 120 pounds. That's what the ad said. We when we loaded him yesterday, he was pretty heavy. It was not an easy task. So the little one, to give you in perspective, the little one was I would say this tall. So he's definitely four or five inches to six. Taller and definitely looks pretty good and strong. He was just headbutting me a little bit and he was pushing me right around. So he's having fun. Now he is looking a little runny, but he's still on the milk. We've had that before, so feed him half milk, half grain. He's He's hand feeding the grain. I hope to have him eating it in a few days. Hopefully, well, he might start trying to eat it right now. Eat it up, bud. You can eat it. Yeah, put a little milk on there so he can start getting real used to it. And then I'll hand feed him what... Eat it. He was pretty skittish. But he is starting to like like to uh chew and stuff, so I'm hoping a few more days and he'll start trying to get that grain and maybe a week or two and he'll start eating it fully. We'll give him a full week though. Today's just day two and the in the old horse horse barn, the old Amish barn. That there we're gonna have to have a fire with. So that'll be a day of heat for you, won't it, bud? And when I got here, he did pee, and it was enough to make a puddle. So definitely drinking water. I looked in here and. There's ice on top, but there's a broken chunk. So he's definitely been in there. Looks like he likes box elders. I got plenty of them for you, bud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good boy. Yep, I think his name's going to be Angus. Girlfriend picked it out. Angus, the little red and white. He's cute. Alright, I'm going to go outside of here. <clears throat> Haven't quite gotten this whole pen thing squared off. We just got it set up for sure though. 
So figured I'd go and come back here a little bit. Show him off in his little pen. He's doing fine. It's cold. It's crisp. Crisp out this morning. He, uh, I was just petting him a while back and feels plenty warm. He's not having any issues with that. He's still young enough. He can't get over this fence for a month. Ah, oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yep, come here, bud. Come here, buddy. See, when I do this, he just wants to suck on my fingers all the time. <laughs> Last night, I bring, or I brought him a uh, whole bucket of milk, and he ate that whole bucket. So I know that I gave him this half bucket this morning. Tonight, I'll give him a three quarters bucket. Just trying to break him into some food and not starving him, but. I don't know what what the other farm was doing. If they were doing that much, who knows? Could have been feeding him one bottle and he's not used to it. So trying to build him up so that he's not always hungry and whining. But he actually is really quiet. He, uh, I've heard him make some, you know, little bleeps, but not much. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. You like that, huh? Oh, yeah, a little Angus. Well, like and sub. We'll uh, keep you updated. I'm going to see if I can try to train him on a rope so I can get him from pasture to pasture, but if not, it's okay. We'll make him get there. He's got the look of his eyes, though. Thank you. Like and sub.